Let's now look at a transformer. Here we have a typical three-phase transformer with red, yellow and blue windings. All earth fault currents will flow back to the source of the electrical energy, which in most cases is the star point of the source transformer or generator. To provide a very simple and reliable protection system, we can therefore put a single earth fault relay on the ground connection on the neutral point. This relay detects an earth fault anywhere on the network that's connected to this winding. Some stray ground currents are always present, up to 80 amps for a typical transmission transformer, so we need to set the current level above a certain amount. You will find this simple type of earth fault relay even on the most advanced substation, provided as a last resort protection. Normally given a long time delay, greater than one second, which will allow sufficient time for all other protections to operate first. Let's now add a balanced earth fault relay to the transformer. This is connected in the same way as before. Let's now energise the transformer. With no fault present, all the currents are in balance and no spill current flows into the earth fault relay. Let's now apply a fault to the red phase conductor. Current will now flow through the red phase into the ground, up through the ground conductor for the neutral point and back to the transformer. We can see the current flowing into the ground through the red phase means that the three current phases are no longer balanced and the relay operates. Our balanced earth fault relay will detect an earth fault that appears anywhere on the connected system. Let's see how we can detect an earth fault on the transformer itself. To detect an earth fault on the transformer, we use a zonal or restricted earth fault protection. To make it zonal, we connect the three phase CTs to a CT on the ground connection. Let's now energise the transformer. Let's now apply a fault on the red phase outside the zone and see what happens. As expected, we now get additional earth fault current on the red phase. This is now balanced by the current detected by the CT on the ground connection. If a fault occurs outside the defined zone, all of the currents still balance and the relay does not operate. Let's now remove the fault and apply a fault inside the zone on the transformer itself. This time there is no earth fault current generated on any of the phase CTs, but we do have current flowing through the CT on the ground connection. This imbalance will cause a spill current, which is enough to operate the earth fault relay. The CTs used for the restricted earth fault protection will all have slightly different characteristics due to their manufacture. If we have a high current fault outside the zone, these differences can be magnified, which may lead to the earth fault relay tripping inadvertently. To overcome this, we provide a stabilising resistor in series with a voltage operated relay. This provides the scheme with a lot more stability. Restricted earth fault protection is provided on most high voltage transformers as it gives a clear indication that an earth fault has occurred on the winding being monitored. The stabilising resistor value depends on the CT resistance and the resistance of the CT wiring. We will see how to calculate this in the future protection settings course.